So here we are with select converter wheels. Um, this is probably pretty familiar to Transformers fans since he is the same design as Roadbuster. Um, they're both they both come from the uh, Special Armor Battalion Dorvac uh, TV show, and they're both based on a Jeep robot mecha design called the Mugen Caliber. Since the driver's name is Mugen, you could probably just call this the Caliber. But anyway, one way or another, um, he is different from Roadbuster in that he is smaller than the full-sized figure. A lot of the select converters were from uh, downsized versions of common molds from Macross and other anime. So... Anyway, just looking at him for what he is, uh, one big difference is that he is all this sort of army green. There is a orange uh, version, which is pretty similar to the Roadbuster colors, and that's pretty, uh, excuse me, anime accurate to the original show. But I kind of like this one better. Um, it may not come across that well on the camera, but in person, it just it really looks solid and kind of gives it a cool mech feel. So taking a look at him, here's his blaster, which is pretty reminiscent of a M16. Uh, but, you know, it's meant to be a giant energy blaster. And looking at the Jeep mode itself, it's really well detailed, especially for a figure of this size. Um, cool seat, uh, which you can't make it out, but there are actually little controls in the arms of the seat. And the seat itself has little lines in it. Um, very well detailed. I guess it's supposed to be the steering wheel. Um, you know, various bits are picked out in plastic. Um, not really any painted detail. It's all done with stickers, but the stickers have held up really well on this. And you see the headlights there. They look pretty good. The windshield is a solid piece of plastic, so they just have this shiny blue. Let's see, it's solid. They have this shiny blue sticker with uh, little windshield wipers. And just some details on the side here. It says wheels on his hood with a star. Um, so yeah, overall, he's just extra, extremely good-looking, uh, well-detailed figure. Um, as for his transformation, it's pretty much identical to Roadbuster. Um, just scaled down. So you flip down the windshield, and in one of the cooler... It's, it's a little thing, but, you know, stuff like this that... that uh, different molds have. I really like the way that, that folds up to cover the cockpit, kind of tucks it away. Um, this piece here folds up and out of the way. The legs detach from the sides and they're going to look pretty floppy here for a minute um, until we lock them in. Get the arms out of the way. And then, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's a hole that's shaped just perfectly these plug in and they'll go in all the way. I like to leave them a little out so that he's got some uh, like a wider stance. Flip out the toe pieces, form the feet, and then of course the dramatic head reveal and then you lock that in. And there he is. Um, he's a very cool looking robot. I've always been a fan of this design and being downsized doesn't really affect him. Um, for Fans of Roadbuster or of the original anime or whatever, um, this little guy doesn't come with the armor pieces that that uh, the larger size mold has. So he's just, as you see him here, this is complete. He's got his rifle, the figure, that's it. But, um, you know, it's cool for what it is. The arms only turn like this. There's no head articulation. There's no leg articulation. There's nothing. There's just the arms. So he is super old school. But, very well detailed, and he looks really good. Um, you know, articulation aside, if this came out today, I think that, um, I think that it would sell. It, it looks really cool, and even for a small size figure, it's super solid, and obviously this one's held up very well over the, what, 26 years at the time I record this. Um, I don't know that you can make it out very well, um, but... The head design is really cool, and, and I like the way it looks one color. 
again, it doesn't show up well on camera, but if you saw it in person, it, it looks really solid and um, just cool. It's a cool looking mech. So there you go. Thanks for watching. That's Select Converter Wheels, and uh, take care till next time.